Hey, so this is a Xiaomi 14, and as you all know, it's one of the first, or the first, to have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 inside. I've had the phone for a little more than a week now, so it's used to my general battery usage and my daily apps, so I can do a really proper battery test today. Of course, I'm gonna use it like a regular phone, so I'm not gonna push it too hard, play too many games. I'm just gonna use it how I usually do on a pretty busy weekend day. All right, we have a lot going on today. Let's get started. All right, so the first destination is right by Coex Starfield Mall. You've probably seen it in a lot of Korean dramas and there's a Korean DMV here. I'm gonna get my Korean driver's license, so let's get that done first. I needed some additional documents, so I gotta go to another government center. So I got the right documents on walking back to the DMV and and I just got to say about this phone, it's really fun to take photos with this phone. All the shots that I take with this phone, it feels like it's coming from maybe not a DSLR but something that's not really a phone. So there's a different type of look to it. The Leica Vibrant and the Leica Authentic filters do a really good job in tuning the pictures. It doesn't look over processed like a lot of photos do look these days on iPhones and Galaxies. And yeah, I'm just really happy. So ready to take some more pictures with this phone. All right, finally got my Korean license. Time to go meet up with Tiffany and Samsung. Now I'm here at Songsu. I gotta find the restaurant we're gonna eat lunch at. Today's a Friday and it's a weekday, right? But this place is packed. Don't know why. Tiffany's not gonna be here for like the next 30 minutes, so I'm bored, so I might just take a bunch of pictures. Might use a ton of battery, but Korea has a lot of places where you can take really nice pictures, so let's really test out this camera. She's arrived. Welcome. Say hi. Ooh, this looks good. All right, now that we're done with lunch, uh, we're gonna go to a cafe, and this cafe specializes in churros, so we're gonna see what that's like. No, no, like S S. All right, we're at the churro cafe right here. Looks really cool. So we're gonna take some pictures, get our churros, and uh, hope it's good. Alright, we're done with the Churro Cafe place. We're just gonna walk around Songzu area, check out some cool stores, and maybe go to Seoul Forest. Did this place look cute? Found this little pop-up. 
Tiffany just got her ears pierced here. I did it. Show your ears. <laughs> wow. All right, after we got Tiffany's ears pierced, we're gonna go get dinner and probably get some dim sum this time. All right, we're gonna get dim sum over here in Congo area. 530, 28%, getting a little iffy here. Mm. Just grocery shopping a little bit before we go home. Now 626 and we have 24% left. Alright, it's 7.23 p.m. and my phone has about 19% left. I will say it's not quite as good as what I was experiencing during the weekdays when I do go to the office. Usually I come home with almost 50% left. So the battery life has been very good for me, at least anecdotally during the weekdays. But during these heavy weekends, I can push it a little bit and it seems to be on the red side towards the end of the night. And this was one of the heavier days because I did use a camera a ton today. And I also use navigation a ton, which is using the GPS all the time. But yeah, I still have a few more hours to go during this night. I'm probably just gonna chill and play on my phone a little bit until we go to bed. So let's see if it does last toward the end of the night. Loses value over time, that's inflation. But All right, it's uh, 9.44 p.m. and this phone only has 7% left after using TikTok and going on Instagram, things like that over the night. So we're finally gonna charge this thing. Um, it's got that 90 watt charger in the box. So we're gonna use that and see how long it takes to go from 7% to 100%. Okay, so I was a little late to get to the phone when it fully charged, but it looks like it took just under 40 minutes to get from 7% to 100. So super impressive. I really wish there were more phones like this that were capable of this kind of fast charging in the Western market. But yeah, I'm really glad I got this from Hong Kong so I could actually test it out. All right, so it's 1037. It's time to go to bed. That's it for the real world test using the Xiaomi 14. Let me know your thoughts on the Xiaomi 14's battery life and the camera results as well as the charging time. Love to know what you guys think on this device and lots more videos coming up on this so make sure to stay tuned to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.